This is a Model 40 AVOMeter. It was built in the 1960s and it has all the functions you would expect a normal multimeter to have. It has um, you can measure amps, volts, and ohms, hence the name AVO. Um, it can do AC with this selection wheel here and DC with this wheel over here. Now, as I say, these were made in the 60s, but this one is still deadly accurate. And uh, you will now be able to see just how accurate the meter is. I'll just go and uh, switch on the power supply that we'll be testing. That's on. And I will now unscrew the terminals and connect my test leads into the meter. Alright, so the negative goes into the negative terminal. And these are just standard banana plugs at the end of these test leads. They used to have to have screw down terminals, but you don't anymore. And we set the range to AC because we'll be measuring alternating current. Range set to 12 volts, and we bring in our power supply lead. Now I'll be measuring this uh, battery charger on the multiple power supply lead, and um, we should get a pretty accurate reading. I'll just bring the meter in just a little bit you know, so you may be able to see where about it's got you may the mechanical cutouts just triggered. That shouldn't happen. But anyway it happened. And that's uh, the protective device. But it's done it again. Don't know why it keeps doing this but it does. Right, so let's get down to measuring this power supply. Right, so I have these leads together. Ah. I think clarity has the need for reversing. Or what have we got? I'll try it on the DC range. It's been a bit strange, really. Never did this on me before. See whether I set it to AC again. 12 volts cut out in. Let's try and stop this fluctuation. Right, I'll set it back to DC after. Tell you what, viewers, I didn't have problems with this before the video. But as soon as I start filming, you get problems. Let's try this once more. Cutout's gone again. So I say that's a mechanical safety feature that was fitted on these meters. And it's maxed it out. Let's try 120 volts. Ah, there we go. That's much more like it. I've set the power supply to 12 volts, and as we can see, well, I can see, you may not be able to see so clearly, that we have 12 volts on the meter, and that's how accurate this meter still is. You know, as accurate as the date rolled off the production line. Um, it also has a divide by two button, but that's for use when you're doing resistances that's not for use when you're using it for measuring your voltage because it, could, it will max out the meter so that is my model 40
Avometer from the 60s. Thanks for watching.